Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to do uh, some building stuff. Uh, so I've already kind of uh, started uh, on some building stuff, but I thought I'd bring you guys in and have a bit of a building episode, something a little different than what we normally do. Uh, so yeah, first thing, though, is I have a little bit of bad news. If you look in the lower left-hand corner, you can see our friend, the Grim, Reap uh, Grim Reaper, is there. Add uh, a little bit of misfortune here is the footage from that. So yeah, that sucks, but uh, shit happens, right? <laughs> uh, so anyway, let's see. We have um, let's see. We have five repair kits here. Okay, so let let me show you what I've done so far. Um, on this side of the building, we have a. Uh, I I made an opening here, as you can see, and we can go all the way down to this awning over here. And of course, there's the ubiquitous zombies. I patched that hole there. Still got to do some upgrading. And I made this little ramp here. Now, eventually, what I'd like to do is put a drawbridge on here. And I can actually make a drawbridge, but I can't. Um, uh, so basically, I'm just going to leave blocks there for now. But uh, we'll put a drawbridge in here eventually. And that way, you know, we can utilize the drawbridge to get up. Uh, so we did that on this side as one entrance into the building. And then on the other side, I, that's still a work in progress. So we're gonna that's what we're going to actually be working on today uh, in today's episode. Uh, so if we come over to this side, I have an opening over here that and I've, I've put some ladders in, as you can see. <clears throat> and I, there's already a ladder coming up onto the roof uh, over on that side. Um, so that's already in place, and we just basically need a bridge across from here. And I've secured that roof from uh, Zombos being able to get up there from down below. So let's head on over there and keep working on that part of things. And then this middle section is uh, going to be probably be repurposed for something else entirely. Uh, but let's get over here. And so we just run back this way and up this ladder here. And we can get away from those assholes. Okay, so that gets us over onto this roof. And so it looks like we might be right exactly where we need to be on those ladders. I, I built them going down. Um, so what we need to do is bridge uh, over from here. So I think that we're going to want to take out uh, definitely going to want to take out this block here so let's do that first okay now can we get a block down there yes we can all right so we're going to use these brick blocks and we will eventually upgrade them to concrete most oh shit that's not what i wanted to do okay Got a little too far over, didn't we? Let's get back up here again. So the, uh, you know, the advantage, of course, of doing this is that the zombies are over here tearing up on the, this also very stout building and not our, our main building as much. Um, okay, let's try this again and try and be just a little more careful here. Oh, the other thing we need to look at, too, is uh, load is 10, horizontal support is 120. So that means this should be able to go out 12 blocks before it collapses. So I don't think we're going to need a center support here. One, two, that's, yeah, that's three. We should be fine. 
soon as I can reach over to that side, I'll I'll do that too and start on that end. Yee. But I don't. It, it's not going to take 12 blocks just to get over there anyway. I don't think. In fact, that is the right level, right? Uh, I'm not actually. I'm not sure. I can't tell. So let's just keep going this way till we can get a little closer. Yeah, I think that's right. There we go. All right, we got our bridge. Nice. Very nice. All right, I'm just going to move this crap out of the way. I, I don't... I, I'm probably not going to break that right now. I might later just for that scrap iron. That's definitely an off-camera thing, though. Uh, but let's at least get this out of the way here so we have a nice clear path to walk over here. Uh, as far as vehicles go, we'll either just leave them parked down below or uh, I'll pick them up and just bring them with me. Okay. Oh, shit. How'd you get up here? What the hell? All right. Looks like we have more work to do. Holy shit. We got more work to do to prevent these assholes from getting up here. I'm not even sure how that happened, but we're going to have to figure that one out. Man, they beat the shit out of me. I was not expecting that. Okay, let's get up here. Holy moly. Uh, I need to go get honey, too. I am completely out of honey. I've, I Fortunately, I've got three herbal antibiotics. Uh, we have one on us, but I uh, know. Your leg's bunged up. That's my fault. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Uh, let's just take one of these because we have to. We have no choice. And, yeah, we're, we're going to have to go back over there and figure out how they got up. I'm not sure how that happened, obviously. So we'll have to figure that one out. Uh, but anyway, all right, so we got the bridge taken care of. Um, boy, I hope they don't see that as a path to get to us now. That just occurred to me. We might have to put a doorway here or something. Yeah, fortunately the AI derped and they chased me down below. But they, they could definitely see that as a way to get up here now. So we really probably do need to put a door here. Um, which we will will do. Uh, because that way, if they do come up the ladder, then we can actually fight them from here. Um, so that being the case, maybe we should just build that out right now. Uh, so let's do that. Let's put uh, frames here. And I will, you know, like I said, I'll probably upgrade that to concrete at some point. And... Would they possibly stand up on that to jump over? I could see that maybe happening. Yeah, they could. So that means we either need to break out for, uh, break those blocks down, which I kind of don't want to do, or we just need to put more blocks here. And if we did it as an overhang... Yeah, you know what? Let's do it as an overhang. That way, there's no way they're getting up there. Okay, that's that's decided. Okay. So, what we'll do now is, I think we'll... Here, let's move this out of the way. Our potatoes are growing. 29%. Uh, so what we'll do now, I think, is we'll probably do a combination of a hatch and an actual door for fighting these guys. So why don't we go make that stuff? Uh, let's let's uh, take one of these, too. That'll help with that abrasion that we have. And we need some health anyway. Oh, you know what, though? I am, like, mega mega low on freaking uh, wood. I gotta get wood, too. The resources, man. Um, how do we or where do we make the iron hatches? Because we're gonna want them to be iron anyways. Whoops. Uh, hat. 
Oh, good lord. What's the matter with me? Uh, don't answer that question. Okay, so we could actually just straight up make an iron hatch here. Uh, so why don't we just do that? Shut up. I know you're hurt, but we got to keep moving. Can't do a damn thing about it, so don't be a pussy. <laughs> My poor guy. Be like, this guy's an asshole. Okay. So, yeah, let's make uh, this, and then, of course, we'll, we'll upgrade it. And I want to make an iron door, too. Now, we're going to make a vault door for our horde base. Well, if we use that horde base. I still haven't decided that for sure. Uh, but for now, let's just make an iron door, too, which is right somewhere. Iron door. Here. Instead of doing that, let's just go door. There we go. Okay, yeah, right here. So that requires 10 plating and 4 glass. Why do you have glass in a metal door? What the hell? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Seriously? Okay, well, if that's what you want. Uh, I don't get that. Unless there was like... Is, the, is there like a view port in... Uh, an undead legacy iron doors? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't get it. Whatever. Uh, let's make this. All right. Now, what we're going to do is... I can never remember which part of this opens up. And I think that's what we wanted. Yeah. Okay. Is it? No, I think I wanted it the other way because I want them to be able to get all the way up. up. Oh, here they come right now. Look at that. Here they come. Okay, well, let's see what happens just with this setup. Can they get all the way up the ladder so I can do this? Well, this might work okay, I guess. Mm, I don't know though. See, this—I don't think it's gonna work the way I want want it to with the with the door. I can actually hit him from here, sort of. Very interesting. All right, let's get our hammer here. You get shotgun, dude. Especially since you're feral. And quit hitting me from 10 miles away. See, this could be a good thing, though, actually. This could be an, a relatively easy slash safe way for us to clear the zombies. Because they'll come up after us here and we clear, uh, kill them and then they're gone. And then we can go down below and do stuff. So I'm actually liking the way this turns out. But I still think we need to turn this hatch the other way, though. That's a different spider. We might even um, later on utilize a turret to help us with this business too. Maybe make a, you know, like a little ledge going out that way and just enough for the turret to reach over and hit these assholes. Is that spider dead? Uh, we got a bow down there. Let's hit bow with a bow. The spider's coming back. It takes him a long time to cycle back up here. Hmm. Almost makes me wonder if we should try this as a hard base. <laughs> if we did that, man, if it failed, we would be so screwed. We'd, well, there would be a way to do it. It'd be a way to do it. We'd have to. We'd have to have an escape plan. Hmm. That's something to think about. Only because it takes them so long to cycle back up here, it buys us time, you know, to to rest up, get our stamina back, that sort of thing. I'll have to give that some thought. Definitely have to give that some thought. All right, let's... Whoops. Did we kill him? I think we did. Is he dead? Yeah, we nailed his ass. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, so I think this needs to be turned the other way, though. So let's we're just going to have to make another one because I can't pick it back up. 
Um, so let's go back to hatch. And we'll craft a new hatch and set that down. And then we'll put the door in front of it. You know, do we even need a door though? Actually, we don't we don't need a door. I don't think we need a door. Do we? I guess if we put a door here, it gives us an extra layer of security, gives us a chance to rest and heal if we're hurt. Yeah, let's put a door here. I think I think we should. I think we should. It's a good idea. Yeah, I did not actually plan for this to happen that way, but it did. Okay, so this smaller square needs to be in that corner for this to go the direction we want it. Okay, so we have to remember that. The small square is the open side of the hatch when it's in uh, on the left upper left corner or yeah the left uh, left hand corner okay so we gotta we gotta remember that you'd think i'd know this by now but what i usually do in this game is i do a wooden hatch because it's a lot easier to tell the direction and then upgrade it for more points but i don't have um enough boards to do that believe it or not okay so we want this to be that's the way it was like that. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right. Now, the door goes here. There we go. And now we have our little killing chamber. That should work really well for, you know, just for normal run-of-the-mill zombies. Whether or not we're going to attempt this for a horde, I don't know. <laughs> I, I got to give that some thought, you guys. That's... That's risky, because this is our home, you know. Normally, you don't shit where you eat, you know, in this game. I mean, I have had the Horde base and the base base be one and the same in the past, but in a, in a general, as a general word of advice, that's not a good idea. But, I don't know, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. Uh, we definitely want to get both of these upgraded to the maximum iron level. Uh, we need more iron plating for that, so let's do that. Let's just grab all of this plating here. There we go. Okay. And then later on, we might even actually upgrade it with a vault door, but uh, I just don't have the resources at this point to uh, afford that a whole lot. All right. Well, I guess the next order of business is to go down back down to the bank and figure out how those guys got up to us from down below. Unless they came from up above. I never actually cleared the entire place. That could, that maybe, maybe that's what happened. Maybe they came from up above. Uh, but whether that's the case or not, we've got to, we got to fix it. So, um, however, however, if, if we're going to use, if we're going to encourage them to come up here so we could kill them, then we want them to be able to get up that way, don't we? That kind of changes things. I got to think about this. I got to give this some thought. Let's take some more bandages here. And we need to eat also. Can I turn... I can turn these into ladders, can't I? I don't have to make ladders straight up. Yeah, right here. Okay. So we can use those for ladders if we need to. Come on, 25 seconds left, dude. All right, well, let's um let's go down here and see what what we can see. Um, you know, the other thing too is I might put uh well, I'll think about that later. Okay, let's just head down the ladder. We're going to go nice and easy until our leg is all better. Yeah, we, we want them to come up here, actually. So, that changes the plan.
So Zombos can't get up here because I've already broken that out. I wonder if what we should do is give them an alternate route up here from the route that we're taking so that they're not just right on our heels like, you know, when we're trying to get up here uh, when we come back home. All right, so that that uh, ball sack guy aggroed on us. I want to see how he gets up here. Let's see if he if we can figure out where he comes from. He came up there. Hmm. How did he get up there? Okay. I, I mean, I know they can kind of get up on the ladder here in UDL. Oh, shit. Where did you come from? And you're feral, too. Shit. Damn. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now they... Are they jump... Oh. Are they jumping up on this? Maybe that's how they're getting up here. Um, here, let's try an experiment. Oh, oh, he, <laughs> he's that, he's coming that way. Okay, come out here, dude. All right, is he... Is he coming up here and just jumping up there? It seems to me like that's too big of a gap for him to be able to do that. All right, he's banging on something somewhere. Oh, there's a way through there. Okay, okay. Now we know where to look. Okay, so how are they getting through here? Aha! Uh -huh. That's how they're getting through here. Okay, now we know. Now we know. Okay. But, the question again is, do we want to keep this way for them to get up here? And I think we do. Right? So that we can... We can still deal with them. Um... And it also kind of meets the requirement of them not being able to get up the same exact way that I'm getting up, so that buys us a little bit of time. There's some loot in here. You know, since we're in this building, we might as well just loot it. There's a, a big vault downstairs with a bunch of fat loots in it. Construction site box. Oh, there's some boards. We need those. Uh, okay, sure, we'll grab those. Uh, I don't know if I need any more toolboxes. Uh, let, well, what the hell, let's grab it. And more power box here. Uh, yeah, we already know that, and we are going to make one. This is probably worth fixing up and selling, I'm guessing. Nothing else in this place. All right, yeah, so we're going to leave that there and allow them to just come up this way, but they have to go the long way around to get to us. And I think that works out pretty darn good. Well, you know, time will tell. We'll see how effective it actually ends up being. Okay, so I've been through most of this area already. There's just another bathroom in here. Uh, let's go up because I haven't been up yet and then I did go down into the vault but I didn't loot it because I wanted to do that on camera with you guys this is just a bathroom with a medical thingy would really like some more antibiotics okay so how do we get up higher out here maybe that's a parking garage ooh wonder if we could 
put this to use as a horde base of some sort. I'm gonna have to investigate that idea. Oh, here we go. Okay, so whoop. Why can't I get on the ladder? There we go. All right, so we're probably gonna have new zombos in here to deal with. Case in point. Let's see what's in here. Nice. You know what? We actually need that. Let's take it right now. And do we need another? Yeah, we do. Okay, let's check the rest of this floor first. Got a bathroom in here. That door's locked. Let's just unlock it. So I'm a doodle right there. And a fast mover. He's not a fast mover anymore. Another kitchen. Is this like a... This must be... Oh, nice. Fine, man. Look at that blue wrench. There's some honey, too. This must be like an apartment. Yeah. An apartment uh, above the bank kind of idea. Yeah, that would, that's a nice wrench. Not as nice as the one we have, but it's still pretty damn nice. All right. The light's showing to go this way. And it wants us to go down. It sounds like we either have a cop or a ball sack or a Hawaii Five-0 down below. Close that. Whoop. We'll loot this first. Where's he at? Oh, he's a ball sack. Yeah. This would be a good time to reload our weapons, I'm thinking. Okay, we got more zombos coming. The wasteland is just relentless, man. The zombies non-stop. I rarely get a, a moment of peace here. But that's what we signed up for. I'm not, not really complaining about that. I'm just stating it as a matter of fact. It's just what we got to deal with. All right. Can we get up here or... Um. Well, let's just... Actually, yeah. You know what? Let's leave that there. Let's parkour up here. Just in case we get more incoming. All right, we got a kitchen here with a book. Nothing there. A little laggy. Nails. No wall safes there. This is an elevator. Wait, okay, hold on. Where the hell are we? This way. Okay, I got a little turned around there. Oh, shit! For a second. He's feral. Not anymore. Why don't you give us some honey, man? Okay, that door's locked, and that door's locked. We probably will get over the, yeah, over there from here. There's a weapons bag. Um, actually, let's go back this way and jump in here. Give us something good. A ranger rifle. It's a shit level, though. What is this fire? 792. So this is a sniper rifle. It does 75.2 damage. We'll have to compare that to our hunting rifle back at uh, the base and see if this is potentially better. Uh, but we did get a nice uh, iron breaker mod. I think we already have a good iron breaker mod in here, though, don't we? 
Yeah, we have a purple level iron breaker on here. So you know what we'll do with the blue one is we'll put it on the axe because I think that will, yeah, that gives us more block damage in general. So it's still worth putting on there. And um, yeah, okay. What am I, what do we have on here? We might as well put this on here to increase its block damage. Yep. Okay. Nice. All right. That's the, those were the locked doors. Uh, so let's get back over here. And is there anything on the roof that we should be checking? I think that, yeah, let's go up here. Then we'll go down and hit the vault. Of course, there's a buzzard. Why wouldn't there be? There's two buzzards. Get the hell out of here. I can't freaking hit him. Goodness. Glad we didn't get infected. And I guess that's it for... See, this, I like this garage idea. It's very close to this building, so that gives us escape possibilities. So we might look into utilizing this garage as a horde base of some sort. I'll have to think about how we'll do that. That's a garage over there, too, but that one's further away. Hmm. Possibilities possibilities anything over here there's a big vault how much you want to bet this stuff breaks nope really this is a pretty secure place hmm that gives me some ideas too that gives me some ideas, too. Okay. Lots of ideas rolling around in my head. I'm not going to share any of them with you right now because I have to think them through and decide which idea I actually like, but yeah. Okay. Let's jump down here and jump down here. I was going to take this apart. I don't think we get anything really good from this, like steel, but Hopefully we'll at least get some iron plating. Plus it's kind of in the way anyways. Yeah, we get plastic and electrical parts. That's good. A little scrap. I'll, I'll probably knock that down later. It's not important right now. Okay, so let's get back down to the bottom here. And somewhere... Uh, there's a way down further into the vault. Just have to remember where the hell it is. Right here. Okay. Um, there's actually probably going to be Zekaroos down here too, now that I think about it. So that door is locked. Let's make sure everybody's loaded. Okay. There's the vault right there. Um, What's our plan? So we're going to get aggro a bunch of zeeks we're gonna run out here run through here outside up the building and then hopefully they'll follow us up the pathway to kill them except for hopefully we don't get too far away though to where they reset is the thing any chance we could snipe a couple of them because I you know we're gonna get a huge rush here Let's do something else, too. Let's get these on our toolbar. Get ready to utilize them. Okay. Where are they going to come from? Out of the ceiling, maybe? That opens that door. I want to open that door, though. Seriously? Did we already aggro all the other guys?
We must have. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the bank vault. <laughs> uh, so let's do the easy opening stuff first. Then we'll pop um, a jailbreakers and open up the safes and all that stuff. Come on, game. Give us something good. Uh, we do have our luckies on, right? You know, I really should go back home and get an eye candy for this, shouldn't I? I mean, we got a tier four, tier four or tier three loot box there. Uh, we've got a wall safe. Doesn't look like any of this stuff is lootable. We got a weapons bag. Yeah, I think we should. Let's go. Let's go back real quick because, you know, there's obviously no sleepers in here. Um, I must have aggroed them all and, and killed them the first time I came down here. I don't. I just know it's been one hell of a fight in this place. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's go get that. Come back, and then we'll have some eye candy to help us hopefully get just a little bit better loot. And guess what? We don't have any frickin' eye candy. Really? Oh, man. Uh, okay, well, uh, screw it. I guess we won't use eye candy. I don't want to go waste more time trying to go find some. Uh, we have a lot, a lot more important things to do right now. Okay. Basic stuff there. Little salmon action. Uh, there's a purse here. With six dollar dollar bills. Again, none, none of that stuff is lootable, which is too bad. Uh, okay, so let's check this. Exotic alloy kit. <clears throat> Increase damage to undead targets. So this is a mod. Plus 17.1% to undead. And some SMG parts. Uh, all right. That's pretty nice. That's going to come in handy. Uh, okay, so let's pop a jailbreaker. And open these guys up. A crap level military vest, a little bit of money, and some 762s. All right, and we got some Zeeks. Edgar, you're such a dumbass. Can we close this? No. Nope. Are they going to try and come around or not? I don't want them sneaking up on the, me when I'm trying to... Uh... Take that extra undead damage. Oh, shit. Nope. 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 that son of a bitch have to be feral all the time? Did I still hear Edgar alive again? Oh, different Edgar. Okay, let's get this reloaded. I need a more powerful 7.62 gun because 7.62 ammo is a lot more abundant in, in this mod than, than the 5.56s. Of course, I can just make more 5.56. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Okay, let's try this again. So we still have one more thing to do here. Nice crossbow and a rad remover, which is definitely going to come in handy here pretty soon. Okay, so that's pretty good loot overall. What is the damage of this compared to this? The crossbow... Has less damage, a little more velocity, but that's to be expected. Okay, so we're going to stick, excuse me, we're going to stick with the blue compound bow for now. All right, so we've completely looted out the bank. And, oh, I want to grab that metal chest. Let's get that. And, of course, you know, there's salvage work I could do in here if I wanted to at some point later, maybe. But uh, I think we've we've cleared the place. And it is now going to become 
our way to get up into our base from the west side and help us also, you know, kill zombos that come after us. So I'm going to give some thought to horde base options. Um, we have we have two options in general, okay? Those two options are A, go back to our original horde base, reinforce the shit out of it with concrete and use a vault door for the bridge and use that one, you know, one, two more times, whatever. <coughs> that's going to be the simplest thing to do, uh, but that's not our, our long-term solution. Uh, or B, you know, figure out a, a solution between now and tomorrow and get it ready, which might not happen just because of the fact that I, you know, I'm still, I wouldn't say struggling, but my resources are low and it just takes time to get those resources. And, you know, not having gasoline in abundance is, is also slowing that process down a bit too. So more than likely we'll probably do Horde 56 back at the original base and just get it upgraded uh, because that I know I can be ready for. And then after that, we'll we'll start looking for uh, a more permanent horde solution. Look at that. There's water down there. That's interesting. Oh, there's gas right there. Oh, we need that gas. Let's uh, grab this. Gas is like freaking gold, man. It's cool that there's water down here, though. Wonder what kind of Zeeks are gonna jump us. That was lame. It's got three charges in it. Nice. Three charges is better than no charges. Uh, that's a broken toolbox, so it's not gonna be able to do anything for us. Anything else down here? The drain's plugged up. <laughs> I was going to say, I bet there's a zombie inside of that thing. Come on, copper. Get your ass over here. Ooh, look at that, a hidden area. Don't be breaking that, Marlene. That's my job. Bow parts, okay. Seriously? You are such the biggest pain in the ass, zombie. Uh-oh, out of stamina. What are you doing? Standing up like you're a bear or something? Didn't work. Electrical parts. There's a box down here with a sandwich in it. Elevator shaft. Hey, wall safe. We still have safe crackers going? Yes, we do. Nice. Let's see if we can get it open before that zombo comes after us here. Get out of here, Ronnie McDonnie. Uh, great heist. 10% more damage to safes. All right. I don't know that we'll really ever... Get to the point where we'll blow safes up. I'd rather lockpick them, at least until we get our lockpicking skill at 100%, you know? That door's locked. Okay, well, anyway, enough screwing around. I hadn't intended to loot in here. He says as he keeps looting in here. <laughs> Let's just grab this easy-to-get-stuff real quick here. Yeah? Uh, but anyway, I'm going to let you guys go here. Uh, what time is it? It's 17.54. Yeah, it's getting getting on in the day here. So tomorrow, 
during the day. I'm probably uh, once again going to take the day off uh, during the day and just get the rest of the resources that I need gathered up uh, in order to uh, get ready for the Horde Knight at our original base. And uh, we'll, you know, we'll use that base one more time. And then I'm going to really start giving some thought to, to this structure and, you know, other possibilities. Uh, I had an idea that kind of came to mind over in the bank, too. Uh, but the thing that I really like about this building is that it's it's really close to the bank. So if if the building looks like it's going to become compromised, it's just almost literally a hot skip and a jump over to the other roof, and then we're, you know, then we're already on a new structure, and then we could fall back to our base and fight the horde up, you know, at that area that I made up there after we reinforced it a little bit better. So that's kind of what's in my mind uh, for all of this. Okay, guys, that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.